Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today I'm going to talk about chill filtration in whiskey. What is it? What's the process? What does it do? Why do distilleries choose to use the method? Can you notice a difference? I'll let you know what my opinion is. Let's get started. All right, so what is chill filtration? It's just simply the process of filtering your whiskey at a chill temperature, typically below zero degrees Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit, but not always. There are distilleries that chill filter at plus temperatures, but I'll get into that later. What does chill filtering the whiskey actually do to it? Well, distilled spirits contain a lot of different substances that originate from the raw materials being used, like the grain or the barrels used for aging. These substances include stuff like oils, fatty acids, and their esters. Ester is just a chemical compound, in this case derived from an acid and an alcohol. If water is then later added to the whiskey, let's say from a melting ice cube, these components, which are insoluble in water, form molecules which result in the liquid losing its transparency, or in other words, the whiskey will turn cloudy. This is known in the beverage industry as chill haze, or by us whiskey drinkers, Scottish mist. Chill filtering the whiskey will remove those oils, those fatty acids, those esters, resulting in a more clear, crisp, clean looking product that won't turn cloudy when water is added to it. So why then do distilleries choose to use the chill filtration method? Well, it's just 100% for cosmetic purposes only. There's no other benefit. And we have to remember that the majority of whiskey drinkers and therefore the majority of the distillery's customers take their whiskey on the rocks. That's the way it's served. And there's this stigma that if Scottish mist appears in the spirit, it's somehow of lesser quality or in some way tainted. And of course that is 100% completely false. I remember a few years back, I was at a Ben Romick masterclass at Spirit of Toronto and the representative for Ben Romick was saying how all of their whiskey is chill filtered. And we were kind of asking, you know, why would Ben Romick, a smaller craft distillery, choose to chill filter their whiskey? And he said, because of their market research, they had one large market that still demanded that crisp, clean, transparent whiskey. And we we're trying to think to ourselves, okay, well, what market would this be? Um, he said it wasn't the US market, definitely wasn't the UK market. And he really didn't say what it was. He wouldn't tell us, but he kind of left us to our own devices to figure it out. And obviously there's only one large market that has enough pull to keep that whiskey being chill filtered. So I thought that's kind of interesting, but can you taste chill filtration? Does it have an effect on the whiskey? Can you point it out? A lot of whiskey connoisseurs would say, yes, they can definitely tell which whiskey is chill filtered and which isn't. Me personally, I don't think I could tell. I think that we maybe associate whiskey as being chill filtered with blends and non-chill filtered with whiskeys that say they're not chill filtered, like single malts that do. So maybe it's an association that we're making. Blended whiskey, bottom shelf stuff, chill filtered. We have that image in our head. Then we have non-chill filtered single malt that we really like maybe that's the transparency between the two instead of actually tasting a chill filtration whiskey. Now, there was a study done by whiskey.com and they looked at 111 different participants that sampled 24 chill filtered whiskeys and 24 non-chill filtered whiskeys. And chill filtration was only identified correctly 45% of the time. This means that the majority of the participants were, had wrong assumptions about the whiskey. Non-chill filtration whiskey, on the other hand, was correctly identified only 54.9% of the time. So the identification rate was exactly 49.95%, and that's a value that essentially equals mere guessing. Therefore, they concluded that chill filtration or non-chill filtration were not identifiable by whiskey drinkers. But that's not to say that you can't identify or can't not identify chill filtration. I just think when you're presented stuff blind, it's really hard to pick that out. Like if you were given a Macallan 12 and a Glendronic 12, the differences in that whiskey that one you prefer over the other, is it the chill filtration that you're pointing, that you're picking out? Is it the distillate? Is it the maturation? Is it the sherry cask? Is it all those different things combined that you prefer one whiskey or the other? Again, I think that we're associating non-chill filtered whiskey with the whiskey we like. And we're associating chill filtered whiskey with, you know, blends, lower grade stuff that we know is chill filtered. I think the only way to really get a true 100% understanding of chill filtration is to try a whiskey, 
before it's been chill filtered, then try that exact same whiskey after it's been chill filtered. Unfortunately, I don't think there's really examples of that. It's not like distilleries are bottling one expression with the chill filtration and the exact same expression without. It just doesn't exist. Is all chill filtration whiskey bad? No. Is all non-chill filtered whiskey good? No. So it just depends on the whiskey for sure. Um, Take a distillery like Michter's. Michter's chill filters all their whiskey. They're very open and honest about it. And they're actually pride themselves in their chill filtration process. I think they have multiple different settings, procedures to chill filter their whiskey, depending on which one they're releasing. If it's a rye, if it's a bourbon, cast strength, non-cast strength, etc. They have different methods like that. And they're very open. And you can read all about that on their website. You look at places like Highland Park. Highland Park does a four a plus four celsius uh, chill filtration so they're not taking it below that freezing point they're trying to keep some of those fatty acids in there if you take a look at water added to that whiskey it does turn slightly cloudy um, but maybe not as much as a another whiskey will and you look at some boxes and they're saying you know this whiskey is chill fill is non-chill filtered you know some haze some you know, discoloration may occur and that's perfectly normal. So distilleries are essentially trying to educate people in the chill filtration process. Um, they're trying to remove that stigma that just because your whiskey goes cloudy when an ice cube falls into it doesn't mean it's a lesser quality spirit than if it didn't. Just because the whiskey says non-chill filtered right on the label doesn't necessarily mean that they're leaving in all those fatty acids of those oils either. It could just mean that they're using a different filtration process that doesn't include chilling the whiskey. Look at depth filtration. Depth filtration may be one of the newer trends in the whiskey world. It doesn't necessarily mean that all those fatty acids and those oils are staying in the whiskey. Non-chill filtered doesn't mean we're pouring it right from the barrel into the bottle. My personal opinion is that I let the whiskey speak for itself. Do I like it? Do I don't? Chill filtration, non-chill filtration, it doesn't necessarily matter in the respect that it affects my purchasing choices. I think the general consensus in the whiskey community, for the most part, is that we do not want our whiskey chill filtered. Don't take anything away from it that's gonna potentially reduce its flavor. We like those big bold flavors. We don't care about chill haze. We don't care about Scottish mist. We know that there's nothing wrong with the whiskey if it loses its transparency with a little bit of water added. But then again, can we tell the difference? Do we even know? Is that our big 10 year old gonna be less enjoyable if it gets chill filtered? Will you be able to tell? Or do you associate chill filtration with lesser brands, with blends? Do you associate non-chill filtered whiskey with brands you like, with single malts? Really interesting, but I pass the question on to you. What do you think about chill filtration in whiskey? Does it affect your buying habits? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content on this channel, you want to support a bit more, you can check out my Patreon. If you want some merch, you can check out the online store. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Always appreciated. And as always, have a good one. Cheers.